All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a video. Uh, it works the same way whether you're doing the interior and the exterior. I recommend that you have the students do two videos, one for the interior and one for the exterior. And the reason is simple is often, even though we have maybe decent computers, if they make it too long, it uh, sometimes crashes. And uh, so it's just easier to make two shorter, like about a minute and a half videos and, uh, and so on. So let me just get rid of this here. Um, so I'm going to start by showing how to do that. So down here, there's a tool, uh, and there's different elements in the tool. There's the image and there's the video tool. I find videos are better, so I'm going to show you how to use the video tool. And so what you do is you click create a video and it will start. And this is a 10 second clip for the whole video. So one of the things students need to do is right away, let's make this, uh, well, I'll make it shorter because I won't make it as long as, as you guys would, but I'll go and I'll say 40 seconds, okay? And I'll start with that. And then when I, I kind of zoom in, I'm going to do a second, uh, you know, move around in my space. I'll press, you know, so you'll have a second clip. And so you can actually scrub through it and see what it's going to look like. Okay, see, so this is what I have so far. And one of the things you may want to talk about is over here we have what's called a, a long shot, uh, establishing shot, start from far, then move in. So this is, uh, you know, a close-up, uh, or not a real close-up, but a lot closer. And then what you want to do is maybe focus on the features that the student has decorated on the house. And if you notice, everything flows. So it's important that you kind of like, you know, continue from the spot that you were at. And let's pretend I added a whole bunch of things on here. Um, and I know my design won't be as advanced as probably some of your students. So we go like that. So it's important to be cognizant of that. Mm -hmm. And let's say we want to show the size of the house here. So maybe we want to stop over here. And maybe we want to stop like this. So let's press another one. So scrub it and see what it looks like. If it doesn't look good, uh, you can just basically click here and delete. All right. And then you basically, since it's an outdoors, the first video, you want to have the students show everything they did. Uh, you know, I have this beautiful, uh, I added some vegetation. And again, so press play and have a look. How fast is it? So this is, okay, so you could say, well, that's a little slow. And you could move it in slower. So this is what, uh, it's an iterative process, meaning uh, they should do it more than once. And this, this one's definitely too slow. So I would probably, well, because here's the thing, this is a 40 second clip. So how do I, that one's not too bad. That was at the right speed. So it's not a perfect tool. It's an easy enough tool to, so one thing that we might want to do is just click stop. And I remember I saying it was slow. Let's go with 30 seconds for mine. Now your student video will probably be longer. So let's see what happens now. So I changed the time to 30 seconds in total. So if I press play, oops, let's go over here. And it's a little bit quicker. But, you know, I'm worried about how this shot is going to look. And this is where I might have to go back and delete the shot a little bit fast there. So you see, that's something that you want to make sure students are careful with and don't go too quick because if their shots are just kind of moving quickly like that, it just doesn't look good. Okay, so now you could do a lot more. I could, And like I said, I would do an interior and an exterior video. Uh, but for now, I'm going to say let's pretend we're done just so I can show you how this whole thing works. So I'm going to click on export and as you know I said I'm making a video so we click over here and what this will do is it'll get your videos now you could actually stitch your um, your interior and your exterior video together here but it might be too slow depending on your computers okay I think I'm not I can't recall if you can put more than one together so here I am and I'm just going to move my and then I click start export and make sure I send it somewhere that I'm going to remember. So uh, it will now export this 
in I believe it's an MP4 and as you can see this very short video on a very good computer takes eight minutes so that's something to be uh, aware of that's why I make the interior and exterior videos separate because uh, on the school computers it's even longer and you know one thing you want to consider is if students are hitting this before the end of class they might want to uh, let you know so that you can make sure uh, you know you close down the computers or whatever this can run without anybody supervising it it's just if there's another class coming in five minutes this kid's assignment or the student's assignment might get uh, you know closed before it's done all right so just be aware of those issues and I do recommend if you can and you have a other video editing software it looks so much nicer when you have uh, the video with music and maybe even the little title sequence you know saying like my house in the suburbs of Ottawa or wherever you're imagining that this would be okay um, I'm just gonna go and open the video file so you can see what it looks like it looks exactly like whatever you were uh, scrubbing through and looking at so whatever speed it was at there it will be like that and I can just click through here and uh, look at the quality it's just incredible and you could bring this into a video software and add some you know some extra information or even a voiceover uh, but definitely music is a really nice touch all right so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and leave some comments and if you have any feedback please let me know